Hello everybody, welcome to another Pleb Masters Forge tutorial. Today we'll be going over the data list feature and we'll be using the Teams function to do so as well. So if you haven't watched that video, feel free to click on the annotation at the top right or the link down in the description. But let's get started. So from here, we'll want to go ahead and click on our little icon at the top right and go down to data lists. Once we are there, we can create a new data list and we can call it whatever you would like. Because I already have my Christmas hat on, we'll go ahead and do a Christmas themed data list. And then in the description, we'll go ahead and just put a Christmas prop list. For the visibility, you can either make public or private. For this case, I'll just make a private one. But if you do make a public version, that means that anybody can access that and view your data list. I'll click create data list here and you can see that it has definitely been created real quick. We'll go ahead and go to the edit button and we'll go ahead and add a team down here. I already have a test team created, so we'll click on this and we'll save and close from here. We'll go ahead and add a prop to this data list. So we'll go to the home and down to the object browser. From here, we'll just go ahead and search Xmas because I know that there is some Christmas trees that have that label. You can see here that we have three Christmas trees. I'll go ahead and add this one by clicking this little icon and hitting our Christmas checkbox. You'll see that it says that it's been added to our Christmas uh, data list. We'll also add this one because why not? And there we go. That is our data lists sorted. If we go back to the top right and go down to data list. On the left hand side, we'll click this drop down and click our Christmas one. You can see that the two props are indeed here and you can hover over it to see what time it was added or what day it was added. Sorry. On the left hand side, you can go ahead and delete the prop out of the daily list. Here you can rename the prop if you'd like to. You could also favorite it so it goes into your private collection. You could also add it to other data lists from this menu as well. You can copy the name of the prop. You could also share it by copying the link of it. Additionally, we have show scripting code here, which is a paid feature. If you'd like to go ahead and subscribe on the Patreon for this, this scripting information will give you access to know what YTYP this prop is found under. And also obviously this prop is also found under this YTYP. On the right hand side, you have the hash of the prop. And on the left hand side, you have the name of the prop. You have it in different formats. You have plain text, C sharp enum, and then TypeScript enum. You can also copy on the right hand side, and then it'll copy your, to your clipboard. But for now, we'll close this and we'll go to my other account. So, this is my other account. If we go to the top right and we go to data lists, we'll notice that we, if we go to the drop down, we have the Christmas version. We also have these props here. We can go to the home, back down to browser, object browser. And then we can add any prop here just for testing purposes. You can see that I can add this to the Christmas data list because it was shared with me. You can also create a new data list from here. We'll go to the top right and we'll go back to our data list. I feel like I'm saying that word a lot. I apologize. Once this has loaded, we'll again click on the drop down and click onto Christmas. You can see that this account has now added this prop to it on the same day that I'm recording this. As you can see, it is working. And that is a quick tutorial on how to manage and work with data lists. Again, if you guys are wondering how to create teams or anything like that, a video will be down in the description for you to follow along. Um, it is a very informative video, so feel free to do that. And I hope this video helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below or join the Pleb Masters Forge Discord. We have support channels there to answer any questions you may have. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day.